my name is Asma Ahaji. I'm studying in the second year of baccalaureate. In this video, I'm going to talk about dimensions in physics. Let's start with the three known dimensions in physics. The first dimension is the length. It is a straight line resulting from the connection between two points. The second dimension is the height. We get an object that becomes a two-dimensional shape, like a square. Third dimension is the depth. It can be represented in a cube. And there is a fourth dimension, is the time dimension. I will give an example to understand this we imagine a bird flying in the sky we want to determine its position so we will determine the coordinates of its length its height and its depth the second is so the bird then the coordinates differ from one moment to the next so uh, to determine the location of the bird we have to determine its length its height and its depth at the moment g and this is the fourth dimension these four dimensions are very important for scientific research as a time dimension is very important when we talk about relativity and there are also a seven dimensions but they are imaginative and hypothetical that are not uh, perceptible but mathematically fixed the seven dimensions uh, have a role which is the formation of a unified geometry of the universe we can conclude these hypothetical dimensions uh, generally came like a result of the contradictions that scientists face and link in the two most important theories in physics general relativity theory and quantum mechanics while the time dimension Einstein spoke about it in his theory of relativity thank you for watching and goodbye